Hey, this week I've got a video about how I got this Alexa Mini and why I bought it. I get this question all the time on my Instagram DMs. Um, people asking, how did you get it? How is it working out for you? Why did you get it as a DP? Um, so I wanna answer those questions for you right now. The Alexa Mini came out around eight years ago. It's not the newest camera, definitely doesn't have the highest specs, doesn't even shoot 4K internally. Um, but what it does have is the Airy a 3 sensor that we've known and loved from tons of movies. And all their previous Alexas had the same sensor. There's something about the Alexa image that gives you almost a film look, it, it gives you the highlight roll off, the organic feeling of it. That's the other thing with like a red, like I think they're great cameras and they have a lot more um, frame rates and all sorts of stuff that this camera doesn't have. Um, but I always find their their images a bit more digital. They're, they're cinematic, but in a totally different way, almost more commercial. And this feels more like film, like cinema where I would maybe even choose a red for a specific commercial over an airy. Um, but I wanna shoot narrative work, and so the Alexa was the choice for me. So when I decided to buy it, I was trying to figure out, should I go for an older Alexa or go for the Mini? There's a huge price jump from an original Alexa, Alexa Plus, XT, SXT, and the Mini. And the reason I went for the Mini is for the rentability of it. The thing about the Alexa Mini is it has the built-in ND filters. It's small, lightweight. You can throw it on a gimbal. You can throw it on your shoulder. You can do almost everything. It just doesn't have all the function buttons on the side. Um, it's modular, so you can, you can change the shape of it. Um, those were all reasons why, but the main reason is I thought it would be rented out more than the older models. I was thinking about real estate and people buy a house, they renovate it, they put tens of thousands of dollars into it, and then what can they rent it out for? 1200 a month? This camera in my city rents out for $1,000 a day. So even though it is around $50,000 with everything built out, $1,000 a day is completely different than a real estate market. How I got the camera was I went on Instagram. I found a company called New Life Cine. Uh, Matt Livingston is the owner. And Matt, basically what he does is he brokers a deal between a seller and a buyer. And he takes your money and holds it in escrow. And when the camera gets to you, you have 48 hours to look over the camera, make sure everything is working properly, and then he releases your money. If you're not happy with it, you can send it back. So it felt like a very safe way of doing things. The camera at the time, I bought it in May 21, was $45,000. I added a $2,000 warranty, and then I've put on probably another $5,000 worth of accessories that you see here. Um, whether that's, it didn't come with the Bebop uh, battery plate, I just upgraded that. This Ratworks uh, side plate, hand grip, my small HD 702 Touch. I had to buy uh, Anton Bauer gold mount batteries. All in, I'm right about 50K into this camera. So I've owned it now for just under two years and I wanna tell you kinda of how it's went for me. The first year from May 2021 to May 2022, it was rented out a good amount and it came with me on projects that I was the DP and I was able to charge a rental fee, just like I'm a rental company. And over those first 12 months, I was able to make $22,000. So my loan payment per month is just around 1,000. So it ended up profiting around $10,000 for me. So that's great. 
Going into the second year from May 2022 to right now when I'm filming this video in February 2023, it has gone with me on feature films in Nepal. It's uh, gotten rented out on a good amount of the projects that I've been the DP on, but it hasn't been getting too many rentals and I think it's mostly because um, a new rental shop opened up and they have an Alexa Mini and the Alexa 35 was announced this last year and the Alexa Mini LF being out for a few years now. But I really do think that it's an amazing camera and I'm getting these feature films in Nepal. I really didn't think that getting an Alexa Mini LF or the Alexa 35, that the productions could even pay more for that camera. So in that sense, it doesn't really make uh, any more benefit for me to own one of those cameras. I still think that I'm gonna get plenty of rentals and plenty of productions that want me to bring on this camera. So we'll see how 2023 goes. So is this camera for you? Like, is this a good purchase for you? I mean, only you can answer that, but I would say if you're, at a place in your career where you're already getting jobs that are renting Alexa Minis. If you're in your city where there's not many Alexa Minis and you think that there could be a rental market for it, I would say I think it's a great investment. Like I said, it made me 10 grand in the first year of owning it. That's awesome. So go for it. Now, if you're only buying this camera because of the size and the name on the side of it and thinking you're gonna get more work, I would say, don't do it. What you need is a great reel, you need a great website, and honestly, within the last two years, only one project did I get my foot in the door because I had an Alexa Mini, and that was the first feature film because I was on an Alexa Mini owner's group, and I happened to be talking to someone who wanted to rent an Alexa Mini, and then I ended up getting the job as the DP. But all the other projects that I've done in the last two years, it's kind of an afterthought. Like people are hi hiring me for my work. And then I say, well, if you want to shoot on Airy, I have one and this is the rate for it. If they say we want to shoot on a Red or we want to shoot on a Sony, great. I'll, I'll still be the DP because like that's what you're hiring me for is my work. So I hope that's encouraging to you. And yeah, don't be lusting after cameras, like go out there, shoot with whatever you have. I also own a Pocket 6K, which I'm filming with right now. Great camera, love it. So um, I'll see you on the next one.